Hello viewer. Welcome to Science Hub. I'll be Gisma Steven. Nsangare. And Patience Mogori. Yeah. Now I'll be taking you through cell physiology. Cell physiology is the study of function of cell structure. Some of these functions include production of carbon hydrate through photosynthesis in <coughs> point number two, energy, energy production through respiration, and point number three, protein synthesis in ribosome. Now, membrane structure and properties. A membrane is a surface structure which which enclose the cell and organelle. Example of membrane include cell membrane, <coughs> tonoplast, nuclear membrane, membrane, and chloroplast membrane. They 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 all have a common basic structure. I will take you to cell membrane structure and I will do it for you. Okay, this is what we refer as to as cell membrane. These are protein layers, even this one, and this one, they are what we call to phosphor. Repeat. This is protein rays, even these ones. These are phosphorylipid rays. In cell membrane structure, it, we have, it is composed of phosphorylipid layers sandwiched between two protein layers. Hence, the membrane is a lipoprotein layer. This means it, it is made up of, of lipid and protein. The structure gives membrane the three the three layers, layered structure about 7.5 nanometers. It is performed perforated by small pools that are located that allow the passage of substances to enter through. These are oh, you can't see them, they are very really small. They are very really small. We have the properties of cell membrane. One, it is semi-permeability, it also it has sensitivity to change in temperature and pH. It has also got position of electro electronic charges. Physiological process, they are diffusion, osmosis and active transport. Diffusion is a process by which particles move from high concentration, concentration to a lower concentration. This movement, this movement takes place along a diffusion or a concentration gradient. A diffusion gradient, gradient is a di difference between a high and a lower con concentration area, e.g. of this diffusion, a scent of a flower experienced by a person, a perfume at the corner, at the corner of the room eventually fills the whole room. Osmosis. This is the process 
This is the process where the solvent molecule water moves from a lowly concentrated dilute solution to a highly concentrated solution across semi-permeable semi membrane. And with that, we come to the end of our discussion. I have been Nelson Angari, Gizma Steven, and Patience Mogori. Yeah, keep it Erimu TV, where we watch and, and learn. learn.